LA is transforming its concrete river into an urban green oasis. You probably know the Los Angeles River from many movie scenes. The movie Grease has probably the most well-known scene filmed in the river basin. Everyone knows the unforgettable drag race between Danny and Leo that took place between the 1st and 7th Street bridges. But the river has its downside too. For years, the Los Angeles River was a drainage ditch along most of its 51 mile length and large parts have been covered in concrete. The Los Angeles River became heavily polluted from agricultural and urban runoff over the last century, negatively impacting both residents' health and the environment. People living in the area were overly exposed to pollutants and didn't have much access to green space. In this video, we'll show you how Los Angeles residents have been transforming the LA River by using natural-based solutions to restore the watershed, improving the lives of hundreds of thousands of people by increasing biodiversity and improving water security. Welcome to Circle of the Earth, where we explore everything about reforestation, decertification, and greening projects. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. In pre-colonial Los Angeles County, water from rivers and streams flowed naturally and supported Tangva, Tatavium, and Chumash people in the area. Due to a population boom in the early 1900s, the Los Angeles River and its tributaries were no longer able to meet the region's water needs. The Los Angeles River eventually changed from being a crucial local water source to being regarded as an annoyance as cities started to obtain their water from the Colorado River and Northern California. With a population of 3.8 million, Los Angeles is now the largest metropolis in the state of California. Los Angeles residents have been challenged by escalating droughts throughout the 2000s. California's greatest drought on record lasted six years, from December 2011 to March 2017. California's interconnected water system serves over 30 million people and irrigates over 2.3 million hectares of farmland through a complex web of dams, aqueducts, and pipelines that move the water across the state. However, as the demand for water rises and droughts persist, the state's water supply has been declining to historically low levels. The Los Angeles River flows for 51 miles from San Francisco Valley through Los Angeles and disembogues into the sea at Long Beach. 31 miles of the river runs through the heart of Los Angeles. Flooding destroyed the entire town during the 1930s due to record heavy rains. As a result, the Army Corps of Engineers devised a flood control strategy in which the entire river was encased in concrete in order to save lives and property, transforming it into a drainage system and flood control channel that sends water out to sea, all behind extensive fencing. Over time, bridges, riverbanks, freeways, and train tracks have been constructed along the riverbed, obstructing its visibility and interaction with the people living in the area. On an average day, 207 million gallons of fresh water flows into the ocean through its mouth. Some of that water is derived from rain, some from irrigation runoff, and some from water reclamation plants. None of it recharges the groundwater. This is not only a massive waste of natural resources, but it has also drastically reduced bird populations and devastated vast ecosystems, which has had a harmful effect on biodiversity. Because of all this, a local movement to clean up the river and restore its natural ecosystem grew in the 1980s. They started a group called Friends of the Los Angeles River, and since 1989, 500,000 pounds of rubbish has been cleaned up. Friends of the Los Angeles River are battling to remove concrete and recover the natural ecosystem. The group has also contributed to the construction of bike lanes and parks on former industrial sites along the river. On the Steelhead Trout Migration Route, 
which is on the edge of extinction, in part due to the concretization of the LA River, they've created a 4.8 mile fish habitat using rock clusters, vegetation, and pools. Since then, different initiatives are popping up to transform the Los Angeles River back to its natural state, coming all together in a plan called the Los Angeles River Master Plan. Their plan is to restore the habitat and ecosystems of the LA River by planting and caring for 250,000 trees, creating 8,500 acres of permeable surfaces, which act as a natural filtration system to remove pollutants from air and waterways, and preserving and enhancing 3,000 acres of planted green space along specific tributaries. County officials estimate that carrying out all of the plan's projects will cost between $19 and $24 billion over the next 25 years. Initiatives in nearby urban parks and natural areas are a complement to the river restoration project. Bioswales are being used to rewild natural areas at the Rio de Los Angeles State Park, a 100-acre wilderness restoration project. Bioswales are channels that are designed to collect and transport stormwater runoff while also removing debris and pollution and providing habitat for wildlife and birds. By 2022, Los Angeles had already transformed 11 miles of the ditch into what appears to be a true river. For the first time in 75 years, the three-mile Glendale Narrows are now accessible to the general public. Locals, sports clubs, the mayor of Los Angeles, and core personnel have already kayaked or fished down its length. This is already a big accomplishment, and hopefully many more are to come. The restoration of the Los Angeles River has become a leading example of how urban waterways that have been reconstructed into drainage systems and divert water out to sea can be transformed back into rivers that capture and hold rainwater runoff, which is especially important in drought-prone areas. It has been demonstrated that by restoring the waterways using natural-based solutions, we can increase biodiversity and improve water quality, and the river becomes a valuable asset and a huge benefit to the city's residents. Don't you also think more cities should restore their rivers back into green spaces? Let us know in the comments what you think about the LA River Project. If you like this video, Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified on every new video from our channel. Thanks for watching.